Here is our last ovarian tumor, and we have seen examples of epithelial or Mullerian derived tumors, which can be both benign and malignant. We have seen several examples of germ cell tumors, which can be both benign or malignant. And now we have an example of the third general classification of ovarian tumors, the so-called stromal tumors. Stroma consists of spindly connective tissue cells forming the actual matrix of the ovary, enclosing the follicles, and so forth. So whenever you see a tumor of the ovary, which this is, which looks primarily like it's composed of connective tissue, and I think this pink area, you would have absolutely no doubt recognizing this as looking almost like slam dunk classical normus, normal uh, fibroblasts and collagen, because that's what it is. But in this area as well, the bluer area, you could see the cells are spindly. They don't look like uh, fibroblasts like you see out here. They are a little bit larger uh, with nuclei, and they don't secrete or make collagen. These are the thecal cells, T-H-E-C-A-L. The uh, theca of the ovary, uh, parts of it close to the follicle, secrete estrogen, and the more spindly peripheral cells do not secrete estrogen. So that is why some thecomas or thecal cell tumors can be functional and show some increased estrogen, but it may very well not be. And the thing that I've always used for an overall rule of thumb is that the spindlier it looks, the less likely it is to be functional. And uh, the stromal ovarian tumors are a lot like the stromal testicular tumors. They're almost never malignant and they certainly don't look malignant here, do they? They all look like they have nice, although sometimes are mostly spindly nuclei that look a lot like each other. They're not darker than they should be. They're not necessarily that much variable with respect to each other. They simply look benign. This is a benign theca cell tumor of the human ovary, and I thank you very much.